You can use my link in the description to download it. Thank you, guys. Waka waka. You can easily access the Windows files from within Linux. No hi-fi stuff here. Just go to the file manager and click on the Windows partition which is located usually under the other locations tab. The process is not too complicated with BitLocker encrypted Windows partition as well. It's just that when you try to mount the Windows partition, it will ask for the password. Try your BitLocker password. If that does not work, try the recovery password. You'll see that Windows partition and its files are accessible now. If the it does not work for you or if you are stuck with the command line, there is an alternative method. Dislocker is available in the repositories of most Linux distributions. Please use your distribution's package manager to install it. On Ubuntu and Debian-based distributions, use this command. Next, you'll need to create two mount points. One for where dislocker will generate the dislocker file and the other one which will mount this dislocker file as a loop device. Use these commands one by one. Next, you need the name of the Windows partition to be decrypted. You can use the File Explorer or GUI tools like Gparted. In my case, the Windows partition is slash dev slash sda3. It will be different for your system. You may also use command line for this purpose. The next step is to decrypt the partition and mount. If you have the BitLocker password, use the dislocker command in this fashion. If you only have the recovery password, use the command in this fashion. Replace partition name and password with actual values. You should see the dislocker file in the designated mount point, slash media slash decrypt in our case. Now mount this dislocker file. You are done. Your BitLocker encrypted Windows partition is decrypted and mounted in Linux. You can access it from the file explorer as well. You can unmount the mounted partition from the file manager. Just click the unmount symbol beside the partition named. Otherwise, unmount command is always there for you. I hope it helps you.
If you still have questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.